Is selling to an employee ownership trust a complex process? Most business owners who sell to an employee ownership trust will tell you they found the process quite straightforward. It's a collaborative transaction and choosing the right expert advisors can help smooth the process and make sure that the desired outcomes are achieved. How can employees afford to buy the business? In an employee ownership transaction, the majority of shares are bought by an employee ownership trust. This is usually financed by free cash within the company and a loan that's paid back from future company profits. In some cases, an employee share scheme is also set up. Employees can earn shares or buy shares voluntarily using a tax-effective HMRC recognized scheme. Is employee ownership just a retirement plan for the owner? It's true that a sale to an employee ownership trust is often the result of a succession plan, allowing the shareholders a tax-efficient exit. Sellers normally phase their exit from the business. This allows a gradual handover of responsibilities to the next generation of leaders. Sometimes this isn't a retirement plan. A growing number of business owners remain as employees. They recognize that when all employees have a stake in the business, it's more likely to be successful. Does selling to an employee ownership trust mean having to compromise on price? With no external buyer, the seller holds a great deal of control over the sales process. A carefully considered employee buyout should deliver a fair price in line with a company's market value. Indeed, when the tax advantages are considered, many sellers believe they achieved a better deal compared with a trade sale. Will employees not want to keep profits for themselves rather than invest in the business? The growth and uplift in performance demonstrated by employee-owned businesses shows that companies often become more ambitious post-transaction. Employees recognize that repaying the former owner must be a priority. Once that debt is settled, more of the company's profits can be invested or paid out as bonuses. It's the company board that recommends decisions on profit distribution and bonuses, but the trust board has final say on these decisions.